Good morning from the Appalachian Trail. Um, as you can see, we just passed the Washington Monument a little while ago. Uh, it was about four miles up from where we camped last night and um, had a beautiful camping spot last night. Uh, it looked like a place that many, many tents can fit. So we were thinking that maybe it was uh, there to hold the capacity of like a volume of flip floppers who start in Harper's Ferry. But anyways, it was really beautiful and um, the Washington Monument was fun to pass. Uh, I had passed there two years ago uh, when my son was through hiking. I came up to visit him and that was the place I said goodbye until the next time I saw him was on Katahdin. So uh, it was kind of a sentimental place there for me to pass. But um, so far so good. Uh, my feet are still bothering me a little bit. Uh, however, I am still here and I am still hiking. Uh, I just want to give a huge shout out to my dear friend and legendary through hiker Rocky. I talked with her yesterday and uh, upon leaving Harper's Ferry, my confidence was down a little bit about uh, just my condition with my feet hurting and um, looking ahead at what's not too far down the road. And she was able to get my mind back on straight, <laughs> offer some resources for support up the way and uh, just really talk me through a couple of things. So huge shout out to Rocky, love ya. And you're like literally such a important part of my son and I's life. So um, yeah, cause you know, honestly out here 
it's like same as the 80 20 rule you know it's 20 percent physical i mean yes we are hiking every day yes you have to be able to do this carry the pack all that stuff but 80 percent of this is mental 80 percent and you know there are times that your mind it just gets off track and you have to be able to believe you can do this and uh I know I can, but I've really never felt such physical pain in some areas in my entire life and uh, just absolute mere exhaustion. So I'm really proud of myself that we're here. We're at the halfway point. Um, we still have a halfway to go. And so, but uh, I'm doing good and uh, it's not and necessarily all just rocky. I have this entire support network of people around me. You all know who you are. Thank you so very much. And all the YouTube followers, you're chatting me and you know <laughs> that I'm not, uh, that I'm going through a lot out here. So a uh, big shout out to all of you as well. I mean, I read every single comment and I try to respond to every single one as soon as I can. And I just uh, thank you so very much because it's not easy out here. But I said I would try as hard as I can, and I'm going to keep going. And so I believe I can make it there. And so uh, this is uh, just taking it one step forward at a time. So, But it's a beautiful day out here today, and, uh, and uh, I think it's going to be a little warm, but we're still in the trees, so hopefully we could get a majority of our hike done for the day before uh, it gets really hot. Um, I saw that there's 85 and even 90 later this week. So that is not going to be fun if it were in the full sun. But uh, right now it's beautiful and still around these flowers that smell like soap. So I'm enjoying that a lot. Let's see if I can get him to hunt. Woohoo! I think the fern groves are so pretty. Like just ferns. Well, today's getting fun again. Rocks and boulders ahead. Just a whole giant avalanche. Good afternoon. So it is early evening and uh, we are making our way to a shelter that is about five miles from Penmar Park. Um, so yeah, we had a good day. There were a lot of rocks today. So um, we were thinking originally we were gonna go all the way to Penmar, but there really isn't any water or place to camp over there. Well, there's water, but it's indoors and we're worried that they may close the doors and we might have access to it. So there was just too many unknowns going into the evening there. So we decided to camp uh, before it. So we'll be camping near a shelter. And the reason I look like I'm struggling is because we there's no water from here to the shelter. And at the shelter, the water is like 0.2 off trail. So we're doing a full water carry. I have three liters full of water in my backpack right now. Uh, and I'm carrying it to the shelter and it has to be enough water for tonight and tomorrow to get all the way to Penmar because there is no water from here to Penmar Park. So a little stressful, 
but that is why I'm straining right now. And we just went straight up a hill. So, but um, I should be there in about a half a mile and I will be very, very, very glad to get this backpack off my back for the day. <laughs> so we arrived at uh, the shelter and this is such an awesome shelter. All the shelters in Maryland so far have been like extra nice. And this one um, is probably the nicest I've seen. It actually has polished hardwood floors in it. And I'm kind of mad I didn't sleep in here tonight just because it's so nice in here. Um, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. And the camping area is gigantic. There's just sites everywhere. We're uh, camped down over there. But uh, we decided to hang out by the shelter because there's nobody in it. Literally no one here. There's only one other person camping way down there. So Chris started a fire and like there's even seats and everything for the fire. And I am making my dinner under here.